Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Ladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Tattoo from CZT Hanny Waldberger. Uh, you will have to go to the link in the for more inspiration. Uh, the for more inspiration link in the description section. I had it backwards. Um, <laughs> so that way you can read about the name. All right. Uh, and this is a neat, it is a grid pattern, but I, it's it's really neat. And the options, well, um, Henny just gave us three. I can picture a lot more in my head, and I'm sure you can too. All right, so I'm just going to do, let's start with what's essentially one box, or one could call it a fragment. All right. <clears throat> well, that didn't line up. Oh, well. There. Okay. Each box starts with an orb in the center. And, of course, I'm going to do this bigger than I think. You get to decide what size <laughs> orb you want. Okay. Then... From either side, well, it helps if it's sort of in the center, but, ah, uh, you know, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> We're gonna, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to draw a straight line <laughs> on, you know, from all four sides coming in. What I like to do on this is uh, using the hollabout concept, which is to, um, I'm continuing the line, but what I do is I pick up my pen, travel it over, put it down on the other side, and continue on. I'll do it again. Um, just, uh, just because, I mean, really, this... You could go, okay, from here to here, here to here. Uh, but even though this is a grid pattern, I think it's good to, to do the, use the hollow technique uh, because then, uh, okay, you have more of a chance of, of having it look like it's, you know, like this orb is over the top of the, the intersection, if you will. Sometimes, eh, not so much as you, I'm not even going to point it out. Okay. <laughs> Because it doesn't matter. All right. Next. We're going to... This is an interesting aura. So we're going to aura, you know, both sides. So in, in this corner. And if you just want to watch for the first one. So I, I'm picking this distance. And then we're not auraing the curve of the orb. We're going to, like, box it in. So just coming out, coming down like that. And then aura... That bottom part of the box. Oh, wait. It's like a big W. All right. So <laughs> we're going to do that in all four sides. And, you know, once you get one, what I would have been doing is working to, it's like, oh, eyeball. Okay, we're right here. Oh, I'll, let me cut over and come down and sort of eyeballing that as well. Well, at least this, you know, if I pick a certain distance from the line that's there, you know, then it can be at least kind of, sort of, uh, consistent. But, you know. <laughs> Say it with me. <laughs> In the end, it doesn't matter. All right. It doesn't matter, but it is nice sometimes. <laughs> See, it, 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 you know. It, it doesn't matter. All right, so this is our basic tangle. Now, uh, let's see. I, I, I prepped some of these, so... It, I, oh, I apologize. You know, because you guys, sometimes you, you, you tangle along. Well, you can hit pause and set this in a four square and then come back. And, oh, here we are. <laughs> it's, it's like a cooking show. <laughs> but I pulled this out of the oven. So I have everything set except for that last bit. Um, just because, and let's see, we have one, two, yeah, three, it's, oh, but wait, we have three variations and I didn't do, well, that's okay. We're going to make this one of the variations. All right. 
I had, I thought, uh, I don't know where I'm thinking. Oh, and let me do, let me okay, put this at the bottom. Okay. So here's one of the neat things. <laughs> this is why I saved this. Don't look at that. Um, about when you're doing it in a grid is you can, and I'm just kidding. So like, I, I'm going to start on this side just because come around down. Now you can, if you wish, stop at that intersection, do all four, or like I did down here without even thinking, just continue it on its path, you know, and do the next one. And then let's see, we can fit in this corner. And what's kind of neat about this is at some point, let's see. Oh, and I can just continue on here. This kind of, this kind of can make it a little confusing. Maybe I kind of think it's kind of fun <laughs> and I'm going to do, let me do this, this single box right here and same thing eyeballing, you know, to get them to kind of match up if you want. All right. And yeah, still on the lines of it really doesn't matter. Let's just do from here. And then I'm going to continue on. And then here I can continue on. <laughs> and then turning my tile so it's comfortable, right? And we can continue on here. Whoops. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit slanted there, but it, it, it lines up. So that's what's neat about doing it in the grid. And you can just, you know, line up the, the places that you can. And it just, I don't know, I think it makes for greater continuity in all of it. Like that. Ugh, some of mine go over to the side. Okay. There we go. All right. So this is what our basic, you know, if, if you just want to stop with that, that's what you have. And it still looks neat, right? All right. So here is uh, variation one that Hanny provided. And that was on each of these, you know, little corners that, that are around the orb, just making a straight line from that corner out you know, to whatever, you know, to the corner of the box that it's in. Yeah, in the corner, Heather, in the corner, not missing the corner, but you know, it'll all be good. Just Penn decided we're going to, we're making this real. <laughs> so we're going to miss on purpose. <laughs> I swear, sometimes I have a jokester as a pen. All right. Uh, and, and of course, you know, there's a lot of ways you can have fun with this. And isn't it neat that the meta pattern that shows up First thing I saw was this big uh, diamond in there. I might do the shading there. You know, and that's something that you can have fun with, with the shading even. But, I mean, you can fill in whatever you want to fill in. Again, sh you know, shade whatever you want. But maybe decide, well, what is it that you want to bring out more? And, you know, and then shade that. Okay, we'll play with that in a minute. So that's... Variation one. All right. So then, okay. Now, if you're tangling along, hit pause and get, get it all set up. So it looks like that. Oh, I didn't need to switch that, but okay. So it looks like that. So hit pause. And now that you're done, we were going to, we'll do variation number two. All that that is, is we're going to uh, put a diagonal line in each of the corners And however, uh, you know, far in you want to cut that off is up to you. This is kind of like floors if you've done the tangle floors. Although, well, floors you can kind of 
curve that line a little bit it, more like rounding this we're just doing it straight and but on this could you do that of course Remember, we're just cutting off the corner like that. And so there is variation two that Hanny provides. Okay, last one. Now, if you're again, if you're tangling along, hit pause and we'll get it to this starting point. So hit pause. And now that you're done, this one, we're gonna do one more aura in here. So on either side. So same thing, and we are, you know. Uh, aura in that part too. Oops, and you can. Same idea if you want. You can, you know, work all the way across. And this, I, I you know, I, I share things I, I, and I say, well, if you want to, because we all work differently, we all think differently, and that's why I will share multiple ways to do something just because of that. All right. Now, if you get lost, because I'm going, okay, wait here, there's the center line. One, two. All right. I have to do this bottom. You know, and honestly, the, the thought is just popping into my head. If you wanted to, you could just continue to aura until you have no more room to aura. That could maybe be neat, especially if you made the orbs a little bit bigger. All right, this one I have enough. All right, so it's just the inside. Ugh. And this too, you know, in the end, when we get done, those, you know, the couple lines that are a little off, it's not going to matter at all. Okay. Oh, oh, this one does have a thing in the corners. This one, we, we're going to put a curve line. And then here, I do like to, for the curves, I, li I do like to pause a little bit just because, you know, it's an orb and sometimes making, uh, you know, the whole too much pressure thing. So sometimes just making a quarter is easier. And then I'll put the quarter then with another quarter, but that's just me in the center. Same thing. You know, like I said, I just do a little pause. There we go. And that's that one. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So back to some shading ideas. I'm going to jump back to the first one. Cause I'm really thinking I'm going to let's, let's have fun with this diamond and I'm going to put graphite on the outside just cause it was popping out. And I, uh, I'm going to debate whether I do anything else because there's a lot of filling in that could be done. It is all up to whatever you want to do. And I'm just doing this back and forth motion mostly because I want that. I don't want that line to show. And it's, it's kind of been, it's moving nicely. I don't want the pencil line to show, but I want, and I want that nice gradient, but I want it to, you know, uh, I want the darkness of that gray to be concentrated right there, not spread it out too far. You know, and if you do, you can always come back and add some. Always can. Look at how neat that looks. Huh. 
That's super cool. And so, you know what that makes me want to do is this. So that way we have a diamond. Ooh, I want to try this first one. I'm just going to do these two sides. And same thing, because this is what makes it just like pop off the page. Having that, the you know, super darkness right near, right on that edge, but making it we well, can see the difference here to here. I mean, yeah, you know, that kind of makes it pop off, but this uh, takes it to another level. My book anyway. But that just the back and forth motion without doing little circles. It we I just we can get that gradient and keep that. Uh, I'm going to do both sides. So if you were working, just a little hint, if you're working on a toned paper, you could do white on those sides. <gasps> and then it looks like it, it just really makes it 3D pop off the page. This will still do. I just wanted to see what it looks like. And, you know, with those two, because I was thinking, ooh, how, how would that make it pop? And it does. It also covers up my going over. But now it wasn't in, in the way in my mind's eye that I was seeing it. This will do it. And you know, okay, I can't resist. You know, if you so you want a little contrast because it's nice to have contrast. You don't have to, of course, but I am gonna yeah, like I said, because I can't resist. Let's put a little shine dot in there. Oh yeah, especially because look at how mucky that is. So you can, you know, with the filling something in, you can redefine a little bit if you need to. love it okay so there's one <sighs> okay this is the next one I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do as um well wait I think I am wait a minute <laughs> I think it looks like any okay let's just let's let's give it a whirl looks like she put graphite on these it almost looks like these are like filled in with gray sort of and if that's what happens that's fine I'm gonna do the same thing oh yeah see that's just gonna fill it in that's okay It fills it in, but because I'm just doing this back and forth, it's still leaving it darker right in the center until I do something like that. Oops, didn't get these. Sometimes I think doing this way seems like it's a little bit less graphite used. And... Oh, well, heck, it looks like it's filled in. Let's just fill around there. And, because see that, okay, we'll do that. Oh, and let's just fill in those, um, we'll, do it, we'll do it like uh, floors. That'll be our contrast. We'll fill in those, the triangles. I might uh, use graphite around them. That was, I was thinking about that, but let's just see how this looks first. All right. 
and this is where it's really handy to have a thicker nib pen um, this graphic one is brilliant for filling in the they have thicker nib micron pens but they're they're different and they're kind of you know they're hard they're I mean they're just like a giant you know of what we already have and I think those are seemingly more for drawing thicker lines initially where this is just great for filling in it feels like a brush tip but it's not loose like you know like the brush tips come to that a real fine point and they are they feel more like a, a paint brush I, I don't I I don't use them enough because I I like to have the control the whole not art it not an artist thing <laughs> oh I'm feeling like those uh, the, these need to the orbs need to be filled in is what I'm feeling like because they're just sitting there um, and so, yeah, so the graphic one is a great investment with your tangling tools. All right. Yeah, we have that, but I, yeah, I'm feeling like let's. Let's use what's left on the torch gun because there's so much. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Good to wipe off the graphite like that. Just use what's left and then you can always add graphite. You can always add more if it seems like, you, you know, there's not enough. But it's like I said, it's just a nice idea to do that because otherwise Oh, not that I've ever done it. <laughs> Go and do something. It's like, oh, why is that so dark? Oh, because there's so much graphite already on there. And there we go. Normally, I do like to have the tip of the torchion on the line that I don't want to go over, but here it doesn't matter because <laughs> we're going over it and it's just uh, it's just black. So for going over that, it's all right. Although you know, if uh, I would try to be careful. Oh, see, I like that a lot better. Oops, I like the shine there. Oh, that looks neat. It's so glowy. You just have to be careful of the wet ink. So I try not to go over it with the tortillon because sometimes then it grabs it and picks it up. Okay, variation two and variation three. This one, I kind of like what she did. So I'm going to, let's, is that it? Oh yeah. So let's do around the box. And yeah, while my while my pen it while <laughs> while my hand is here, did I do that? Oh, I did good. Whew. All of a sudden, I was seeing. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't look like it's enough uh, times around. Oops, I don't want to do that one yet. This one, I do want to do my best to put the tip of the tortillon and the pencil on, the, you know, where I don't want to go over, even if it's kind of on the side. Oh, like here. I think I like it. Yeah, so you don't have to really, you kind of cover the sides of these 
the you know the little indents as you're doing ah I, yeah neat hmm no well, I think this one too let's just continue the trend because it's so hard to resist especially with these little ones Well, and, and, you know, if you are into steampunk, you could, you know, put a little, uh, you know, line for the, oh, wait, we found out there's a weird name. I mean, I like to call it the screw head, but it was, there was, oh, I'll have to look it up. There's an actual name for, you know, what we would call the screw head. And it was like, well, that's weird. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it like that. I don't know. Either, it could do, it could fill in the, the big the big orbs as well but I think I'm gonna leave them and let's spread this out a little bit better okay lots that could be done with with that inside of there um, but yeah that could be neat all right and here's where we started and here's three variations that could stem off of this and we didn't do this one in the four square um, but super neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please click on the like button. And if you like it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, I mentioned the description section there. You will find links to the step outs. I always do my own version and then share a link to the creator, uh, you know, from the creator of the tangle. And uh, below that, my link tree where you will find links to my website. You can follow my blog there. Um, and, you know, look at the classes. Uh, you can, uh, right now, you, uh, the only classes is, is if I have one posted, which I think I need to up, uh, I need to move the one that's up there, uh, the most recent class. You can, you can purchase replays. You can purchase the paid classes. I don't yet have uh, links there to sign up. Although I do tell you where you can go to sign up. So that way you get a reminder. On the Linktree link, you will see uh, I post on Eventbrite and Meetup.com. Also on Facebook. So you will find... A, um, uh, actually, there's two Facebook um, links. One is the icon that takes you to my page. And so you can follow me there. The other one is the, the big bar that says... Uh, uh, you know, join the Tangle Addicts community page uh, group. And so that's a Facebook group. And there are four questions you have to answer in order to gain entry. But it's, uh, we have a lot of fun. There are a lot of amazing people that are on there um, from different levels of talent. It, it, it all doesn't matter because we get Zen Tangle and we get that it's, it's our individual journey. And you know, it, it's just, it's, and everything is good. It's just, it's really lovely. So if you want to join us there, do, um, let's see, there are other links on that, on that link tree, like other resources, um, uh, the enabler of uh, alert section, which we call late enabler alerts, you know, for, you know, sharing things that every, that you need to get, <laughs> need air quotes, um, you know, we, we must have options in our tool toolboxes, right? Uh, so there's that. Um, oh, and I think that's it. I, uh, I mentioned classes. So I do teach twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, my time here in Michigan, 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Two, yeah, so two sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays is always free. And, and I do my best to keep them in, uh, on, on those days if something does happen I work to just change it to a different day and uh, that has happened I think all except for maybe one time <laughs> so I do my best to do that because we have to have our fix and um, uh, and so the other ones uh, there's one on Tuesday that is a free class and the other ones are paid uh, come and join us for free and you know like I said, we have a lot of fun uh, and then if you like you like you know the group because most of the regulars come to come to everything because I have a club membership that's uh, 
it's $35 a month at the moment. I don't see foresee uh, changing it anytime in the in the future um, unless I add some more uh, classes or something like that. But that gets you access to all of the classes. So you can come to the AM to the PM to both. You can, you know, if you don't come, you just end up, you know, watching the replay. You have that as well. So um, just a little plug on there. All right. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.